All right, guys, so this video I want you to go over bench for grip width and what is the best for you. So a lot of times people will say, oh, how, long, how wide should you be your grip? And it's basically like wherever, wherever you go, that's going to be you know parallel with, with the ground. Now, the reality is that a lot of bench grip widths can actually have that. Um, you know, if you're wide or you're super narrow, you're going to have, at some point in lift, you're going to be perpendicular to, to the ground. Uh, I think a better way to think about this is sort of uh, your bench press style and how much you utilize the triceps when you use your bench press. So if you have a little bit more in a higher bench press arch, um, you'll probably benefit from a little bit more of a wider bench press grip of it. But basically a wider bench press grip it allows you to do, if you look, if you look at, at this, my shoulders are more internally rotated. What that's going to allow me to do is use my, my chest a little bit more. I don't have to use as much of uh, external rotation at my shoulder or internal rotation to get to towards the lockout. Um, it's a little bit better for maximizing your leverage because you have shorter range of motion. And it's a little bit just more. It's a little bit less muscular focus, and it's a little bit more less like muscular emphasis with the triceps as end effects. Whereas when you go in more of a close grip, it's a little bit better for people to have a little bit more of a narrow grip with. And the reason for that is because you're going to be actually able to move their shoulders a little bit more internally um, and be able to use the triceps and their pecs a little bit more in conjunction with each other. So in terms of how wide should you grip, um, it, it, it just depends a lot on how much that you, you know, you, you arch and then what feels most comfortable for your shoulder joint. Unfortunately, it's difficult to know what your head shoulders are made of, you know, if you don't have an actual um, MRI. But as a good like rule of thumb, for a lot of people, starting out around the pinky on the ring or the ring finger on the ring is going to be a really, really good good idea. Some people might benefit from middle finger on, on the ring. Um, I'm going to find that very few people are really going to benefit from having their you know, mass grip foot weight. So, for example, just with my foot, um, I tend to set up with my pinky slightly inside of the ring or very much on the ring. The reason for that is because I have a very muscular bench press. So me going like like, like this, having my pinky on, on the ring, is going to allow me to use my, my chest and my triceps a little bit more because I'm not arching very much. If I was a little more, 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 more wide, you can see I went a little more like this, I have more internal rotation on my shoulder, and it's going to be hard for me to use my, my triceps during the movement. That's going to result in less power at lockout. Whereas if I was I, a higher bench press ar ar archer, let's say, you know, uh, if I grab a board, whereas if I grab a board and do that, you can see that if I go, if I have a wider grip, and I'm not using my, my, my tricep as much, the tricep is a little more active through for mid range. I can just do, do, do this, and I'm just using that end range of emotion. There's a little less emphasis on the, the triceps, the triceps more, 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 more narrow. I have a little bit long, longer range of motion. That kind of like negates using a higher arch. I'm not in as good of a position because I, if, if during this range of motion, you're kind of going to be doing a more lateral force transfer through your triceps. So, so those, those are some general guidelines. The main thing is practice a lot of things, but for most people, um, you know, be having a little more of a narrow grip is probably going to be a little bit best for them. Um, and one real big key if you're having more of a narrow grip because you have a little more lateral force transfer to get the triceps involved. Think about squeezing with, with your pinkies on the way up. That's going to allow you to have a little bit more of that lateral force transfer to get your triceps involved. Um, so hopefully this is helpful. If you guys have any questions, uh, just, just let me know in the comments below. So I want you to say what you, what you just said about like your bench grip width and like what happens with like your wide grip. I just get stuck just like a few inches off my chest. Mm -hmm. So with my grip, it's like, it's being like on the rings on a power bar, mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, and so what that was, what, the reason why that is because when you're coming off of your chest, you need your, your triceps go through that, that, that mid range. That's what's going to get you through, through the mid range. And if you're a little bit too extremely like, rotated at your shoulder, you can't, you can't really use your triceps as much. So I recommend doing is just bring your finger grip when about like probably to like your, your middle finger on the ring. So like put it like more on Wait, middle what? finger. It's like your middle finger on the ring, that one. Okay. And then that should have you have a little bit more pop off of your chest okay. and through the entire range of motion. But like that's actually a really good sign. And I love how you said that because that's a really good sign. You're actually gripping a little bit too narrow. Is that I mean besides obviously you know that's what people tend to miss. But like, if you have to feel like you have absolutely no power there, like you're probably a little bit too. Um, 
Does that make sense? Wait, I'm too narrow or too wide? Too wide, so like too, too wide. wide because you're, okay. you're, if your shoulders are in this position yeah. and when you're going throughout the, the, the bench press, when you're going down, your shoulders kind of like have to um, externally rotate and go down or that tuck of the elbows. So yeah. even if you're up or down your chest as you go up, kind of think of like unscrewing your elbows, okay. going through, through mid range and having that internal rotation at the shoulder. And that's basically also gonna get your triceps involved and your pecs a little bit more involved. Okay. So like that's why like you're a little bit too, too wide. You can't have that, um, the external rotation at that shoulder. You're just always internally rotating. You're not gonna be able to actually like use your muscles huh. to full, full extent. Is that, does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. cool. Thank you. Okay guys, so here in this video, I wanted you to just expand a little bit on um, what I said earlier in the, um, the video. You get like, like some examples of like different grip grips, like uh, what I would call like a closer grip, more of a medium grip and a wide grip. So first up, you have John Hack. John puts his finger, um, his pinky right on the ring. And you can see how, um, so he has a very, very small arch. He's not doing a very big, big arch. Um, he also has a lot of emphasis on the triceps and whatnot. Um, also like John's frame, he's not the most wide person. And so generally like, well, if you're a little bit more like a narrow um, shoulder width, you know, typically a little bit more of a closer grip is going to be a little bit better for you. But one thing I really want you to look at here is that right through mid range here, and this is something you're going to see on really every lift is that, um, or really, with really every lifter is that they all have, um, their a pretty stacked joint angle, um, right through the hard part of, of the lift, which is right through mid range. And, um, just for John's style of benching, this is a little bit, bit better. Um, so it, this is just one example of that. This is another example on Charlie D D Dixon. So he doesn't have as wide of a grip. He has, I've asked him about it. He has his um, his middle finger on the ring. But if you look at what he's doing right here, you can see how it's a little bit wider. Um, this works well for him. Um, he's able to drive through through his mid range. And, but the thing is that Charlie has a wider, um, his wider hips and a wider bone structure than, than, than John. Um, if you're looking at like another video of John, like for example, just like standing up that you can see like right here, his shoulders aren't as wide um, as Charlie's. Like when Charlie is like squatting, you can pretty clearly see how much wider his upper body is and his actual um, bone, bone structure is than somebody like John. Um, so if you're a little bit, you know, a little bit more of a, of a wider um, uh, chest and, and uh, ribs, you might actually benefit from having you know, that, that wider, uh, sorry, that, um, yeah, a more wider grip. Um, like that, not, this is not, not me saying that John is not, you know, a, a big dude, but clearly, you know, if you look at this, a similar angle of him versus Charlie, it's just, he has a, he has a wider bone, bone structure. So for, for, for Charlie, a better grip for him, just what's going to be, um, a little bit, a little bit, but wider in relationship just because of how he's, his bone structure is. Now you have somebody like Sean Noriega, who is probably the most famous high archer, um, <laughs> really any, any power lifter. Um, you can see right here how he has um, is super, super, super wide, wide grip, but he has, you know, even though he has a pretty narrow bone st st structure, he has a super high arch. And basically if you're having a higher arch, it's gonna, it's a little more beneficial because you're further reducing the range of motion. That's the competitive advantage that you have with that grip width. So this is just kind of goes to show you like, it also has to do with like how you how you are structured primarily. So if you have a wider bone structure, um, a little bit more of a wider grip might be a little bit better for you. Um, if you're a little bit more, more narrow, um, you might want to do a little bit more of a narrow one just because that's going to have you have the most um, stat joint angle through mid range as possible. Um, and just play around with, with grip width. There's no one correct answer for everybody. You have to experiment with different things. Um, so. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, um, ask them down below in the comments. I'll happily get respond.